Hey, what is up, everybody? My name is Gary Kemmer. I'm an independent, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm an independent consultant for Sensi, and today I'm going to show you um, this basket I've been, I put together. Um, this is a donation basket for um, a friend of mine. They're having a bull roast because um, she is battling breast cancer right now, so they're hosting a bull roast to raise money, so I'm donating a Sensi basket. So, I'll give you a glimpse. It's, I will warn you, it's not completed yet. Um, there's like one or two things I still have to print off before, um, actually just one thing I gotta print off at work tomorrow before putting it in. And I wouldn't make this video tomorrow with the whole complete thing, but after work I'm gonna be delivering this basket because the event's um, Friday. So tomorrow right after work I'm gonna be handing it over. So um, I'll put a picture, ooh, I can't. I'll put it as like the little thumbnail of it, what it looks like complete. But anyway, this is what I have so far. Let me, hopefully you can see what's in there. I'll go over what's inside, but this is what it looked like. Um, I got the bag, the bag. I got the basket um, from Michael's. Uh, it was, I got it for 50% off, so it only cost me $10. And so let's go over what I put inside. So, um, like I mentioned, this is uh, for a friend that's battling breast cancer. So I am donating um, the ribbons of Hope Warmer. Um, if you have yet to see this warmer, it's beautiful. Um, it is so pretty. Let's take a look, shall we? I mean, this warmer is so pretty. All right, let's take it out. Um, so on the dish, um, has a little um, pink ribbon in it, which is so pretty. And then, I'm not gonna take it out of the wrapping, but just look at how pretty this is. I was like, this is perfect. So this warmer, I absolutely love. Um, and yeah, so that's the warmer I'm going to be including. And now I'm also including, uh, three bars. Um, the way I judged my bars, I try to go, um, by the seasons right now. Um, since we're still t in fall, um, even though some people are, like, already starting to transition into winter scents, which I'm not ready for just yet, but some people are already doing that. So with this basket, the three scents I chose out were um, a mix of fall, winter, so forth, so forth. So um, also on the bars, I got um, these nice little um, rubber band bracelets or whatever, the rubber bracelets, I don't know what you call them, but I got these at the dollar store and this one's really pretty. This one says believe, it just says believe all around it. Uh, there's my label on there. And then this one is um, lavender and white um, balsam. Oh my God. If you have yet to smell this because this is November's scent of the month. It is also going to be December's scent of the month. Um, I will make a whole separate video going into that if you were unaware of that whole situation. But um, but yeah, I got gave them uh, lavender white balsam, right? Yes. Um, cinnamon bear because who doesn't love cinnamon bear? I threw this one in because who knows maybe a guys gonna win this basket. So there's all there's awful lot of pink in here. So I also got this band at the dollar store and it says real men wear pink. And then the last one that I included was um, form said pumpkin. And then this one is it's kind of hard to see, but this one says hope all around it. So three bars they range differently. One's more tenderly sweet. One's more of a homier. One's kind of like an in between almost. Um, and then I'm also throwing in there a scent circle of apple s'mores. And then um, I also put in a card. I wrote a card to the winner. Um, the front of it says congrats. Um, I already sealed it up with um, a rub and sniff sticker. But on the inside I basically wrote, um, dear winner, congratulations you won. More importantly, thank you for um, donating towards a great cause. Um, I really hope you're in, you enjoy these ba uh, goodies that I included in this basket. If you ever need anything, my number is on listed on all these products. I said thank you again for donating, and then I listed the person's name, and I wrote Love Garrett on there. So, you know, nice, nice little personal touch to it, so it's just not like, oh, look, a free bag of Scentsy. Woo, now what? So, I like to always put in personal touches. I like to try and get that connection, even though I'm not physically there. I like to try and get that connection with that person to build a relationship. Sorry, I'm talking with my hands a lot right now. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I also included that card. Um, of course, I gave him a catalog. Good thing I'm looking at this because I gotta label it. Let me do that real quick. As I'm talking to you guys, um, these labels are everything. It's on a roller. I got them from 123print.com. I love them. They're so small too, and they were cheap. So, and then on the back, I have two rubber stiff stickers, 
uh, join my team, I heart sen hashtag I heart Sensi and hashtag Sherry Sensi. So that's on there. Um, I also included um, a monthly special flyer. And then even though in the catalog it goes over about hosting a party and joining, I still threw in these two brochures just because of the fact, you know, these are, they're more inclined to actually read these rather than looking when they're looking through the catalog. Because pe when people look through a catalog, they typically just look at the products and all that stuff. So just throwing that stuff in there because who knows? Who knows what can come out of this basket? That's the best thing about donation baskets. Not only are you donating towards a great cause, but this is also a great way, you know, for you in return, you can gain um, a potential new client recruit or something. You just never know what can possibly happen. Um, the last thing I got to do is I got to make a certificate. That, um, so when the person person purchases through me again, uh, they'll get ten dollars off. So I got to make that up, and I'm going to laminate it and throw that in there. And then what I'm going to top it off. Oh yeah. And then on the inside, I also included just some more of the um, bracelets, uh, some pink flower petals, and I'm going to tie it all up with this bag. I don't know. If, hopefully you can see it. But it's like clear, but it has this really pretty gray thing. It has hearts and stuff. I thought that would look really pretty with all the pink tissue paper. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm including in this donation basket. Um, of course, go off with what your budget is. You know, you don't have to go warmer, three bars, and all that kind of stuff. So do pertain it to whatever you can afford to give out and whatnot. Um, and everything because not everybody's basket is going to be the same so always just be conscious of what your financial stability is and just go off to what you can do don't don't put yourself in debt going over you know remember it's a thought that counts with these baskets you know it's not really the value of what's inside it's more or less the thought that you put into it to give to that to hand over so with that guys i hope you learned something um i love each and every one of you if you ever need me, send me a message, email, I leave all that stuff in the description. And with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm Garrett Kemmer, and I will see you later. Bye.